and welcome back to my channel. So, start this video off saying I am so excited to be back on YouTube. It has been a few months now, um, but a lot has gone on. My computer messed up, so I had to save money to get a new computer, and then um, I had to get software to edit the videos, so it's been kind of a whirlwind. And now the cat is going to get on the tree and make noise. Kitty, 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 kitty. Seriously, I can't catch a break. But anyways, I am so excited to be back and I'm so thankful for all my new subscribers that I have. And I am just beyond, like I said, excited to be back. So my first video coming back is going to be my beauty favorites for January and February. I have been using everything that's right here in front of me religiously every single day, Monday through Friday since Christmas. Um, so yeah, I'm super excited to share it with you guys. And if you're interested, just keep watching. Hey, you're snoring kind of loud, buddy. Okay, so I am hoping to get through this video, but these animals are not really cooperating very well today. So I'm going to do my best. I'm sorry if there's any distractions, but I only have so much time and I need to get this video up. So the first thing I'm going to start with is shower stuff. Um, the first thing that I'm going to talk about is this right here. This is the Dove Go Fresh um, Softer, Smoother Skin After One Shower. It is Cucumber and Green Tea Scent Body Wash. And no, this isn't new body wash. This body wash has been out forever, but this is the first time I've ever used a cucumber and green tea scent, and I am obsessed. Like, when I get out of the shower, I still smell like it. Really? Oh, my gosh. You guys. Are you going to stop? Nope, nope. He's going to keep going. I'll be right back. Okay, I finally got them under control. So... Like I said, this stuff is absolutely amazing and I highly, highly, highly just suggest it. The next thing is this Herbal Essence White Grapefruit and Mosa Mint. This scent is absolutely phenomenal. I am not sure if it's a new scent or not. I know it's new to me. And it is real botanicals, 90% natural origin, um, and it's zero silicone and all that stuff. So it's supposed to be, supposed to be good for your hair. And I love it. I absolutely love it. Um, next thing is this new Yes to Coconut Ultra Hydrating for Dry Skin Energizing Coffee 2-in-1 Scrub and Cleanser Stick. And it looks like this. And I am obsessed. So basically it's just a face wash, but it has like those beads in it as well. And it's kind of like a deodorant stick where you twist the bottom and it comes up off the top. And then you just go like this with your face a little damp and then... Um, you put the lid back on, obviously, and then you just, with your hands, you start scrubbing your face with the beads that are in here. I love this stuff. I am acne prone, and my skin has been about 95% um, clear since I've been using this stuff. I am obsessed. Um, that's it for the shower. Moving on to toothpaste. I know it's random, but I am obsessed with this stuff. Uh, my husband's ex-wife actually told me about this stuff, and it is amazing. I have very sensitive teeth as well as she does, and I have used so many different toothpastes, and no matter what, they still irritate um, my teeth. So she hooked me on the Sensodyne Pro Enamel Gentle Whitening Toothpaste, and it's absolutely amazing, you guys. If you have sensitive teeth, really? Okay, I'm back again. But seriously, like, I'm not even kidding you. This stuff is absolutely amazing. And if you have sensitive teeth, I highly suggest that you jump on this bandwagon. Um, next thing is dry shampoo. So I have, I don't even know where all this is sold. I am very new to this brand. But I was at Walmart and I was looking for a new dry shampoo and I get very bored um, so I always love trying new things. And I came across these, and it's called Ren Pure, I believe, is how you pronounce that name. And they have several different ones. And I grabbed the Sea Minerals and the Coconut Argan. Um, they both have the same results. Um, they both 
work wonderfully so I don't think it matters I think it's more on scent and kind of what you want for your hair um, but like I said I haven't really noticed a big difference in the two as far as what they do um, so yes I highly suggest those and the last things I have are makeup products let me do a little disclaimer okay I live in Southwest Florida it is hot and humid and literally when you walk outside, you can't breathe because it's so humid and hot, okay? And I am 28 years old, and it has taken me 28 years, <laughs> not that long, but you get the idea, to find 100% sweat-proof, sun-proof, wind-proof, all-day-proof, swimming, you name it, this makeup will last you all day long, and I have the full face to show you. So to start off, we're going to do the primer, which is the No Pore Blem Primer, and it's from Touch and Soul. That plane is like really loud. I don't even know if you can hear it, but this primer is absolutely amazing. Bulletproof. Um, it does fill in your pores. It doesn't clog your pores because I've noticed that my skin has been staying clear. Um, so Next thing, we'll go to foundation. This was bought on a whim. Like, I knew nothing about it. I didn't watch any reviews on it or anything. And it's the CoverGirl Outlast All Day Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 Foundation and Sunscreen. This stuff is absolutely amazing. The best foundation that I've ever had, hands down. Um, I have two shades. I have a medium beige and buff beige. They're not really too much different. One's just a little smidge lighter. They had thousands of shades though, so it was kind of hard to find, but I nailed it. I got it right perfectly. I'll be back. And I'm back. Um, this stuff is amazing. It does last all day. And the three in one, it's got a primer. Um, and concealer and foundation. This stuff is absolutely amazing and it's so affordable, you guys. Bulletproof, it lasts all day long. We went boating Friday and Saturday and Sunday we were all, we at two parks all day long. So literally Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, all we did was sweat and, you know, get sunburnt and all that stuff that happens when you're stuck outside for three days. Never moved, never never budged. I still looked flawless at the end of the day. Amazing stuff. Then we have um, blush. The blush that I've been using is this Makeup Geek, and it's in the shade Soulmate. And it's like, like a dusty rose mauve color. It's just very natural and beautiful. Um, it blends so well, and it does last all day long. For bronzer, um, I've been using this Sculpt from the Tardis Pro Glow Palette. Um, it lasts all day long. I love it. It smells good. It's weird, but it does smell good. Um, and sometimes I'll put the highlights on, but definitely use this every single day for my bronzer. Moving on to eyebrows. This palette right here I've been using for the last year and two months because it's now March 1st. Um, it's the Brow Gal by Tanya Crooks. It looks like this. And I've been using it non-stop. It's the only thing I use. Then we have for mascara, which I'm waiting for the mailman to come and bring me a new tube because we have a photo shoot um, next weekend and I refuse to take pictures without using this mascara. This is the It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. The best mascara, hands down. I have thousands of mascaras, and I'm telling you right now, nothing is better than this right here. And if you think that you have one better than me, let me know in the comments, and I will let you know if I've tried it or not, but pretty much tried all the, the talked about mascaras, and this one is hands down the best mascara ever. It is a little bit pricey, I'm not going to lie, but it's so worth it. So worth it. Um, moving on to eyeliner, my eyeliner that I've been using every day is this Nano Liner from Absolute New York. Every day I've been using it. It doesn't budge. It doesn't move. Um, 
all this makeup does not go anywhere all day long and I feel like Southwest Florida has the worst weather in the world as far as like heat and humid combined. Hu wow, heat and humid combined. Um, so it's very, very hard to wear makeup when you do live in Southwest Florida um, because it is so hot and humid. It just melts right off your face. But this stuff, seriously, I'm so excited that I discovered all of this stuff because it'll probably be what I use for a long, long, long time from now. Um, final thing, drum roll, is this Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink Lipstick. Love this stuff. I have it in the shade 05 Loyalist. I have it on my lips right now. All of this I have on my face right now um, because it's what I use every single day. But this stuff is amazing. It lasts all day long and I literally have to scrub this off at the end of the night. All of this makeup I have to, you have to actually like scrub everything off at the end of the night because it is still like it was when you first put it on. But yeah, that is it for my favorites of January and February. 2019 has been amazing for me so far between weight loss and fitness and, you know, beauty, um, personal life. Everything has been going great so far in this 2019, so I'm excited to see what the rest it has in store for me. I am so excited to be back filming again. I am getting a new camera in like the next month, and I'm super excited because the quality is going to be amazing. Right now, I'm just using my phone because my camera is, my other camera is dead, and ain't nobody got time to wait for that. So, I'm excited to be back. New computer, new editing software, and yes, you will be seeing more of me now. I'm not sure the schedule yet. I still got to learn how to use the software and all that kind of stuff. So once I am comfortable with everything, then I can give you a schedule again. But yeah, I'm excited to be back and thank you guys so much for watching. Please like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. And leave a comment down below just saying at least hey, or if you have any other beauty products that you think that I should try out. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.